Okay, here we go. Sorry for my confusion. All right, so last week we ended um, with the Aliot, as I recall, correct? Mm -hmm. And so um, we're now, uh, you know, so the Torah reading is going on, the half Torah reading. I wasn't going to go over the blessing for the half Torah reading because it's not something I think you guys are going to be chanting on your own. So we'll, we'll skip over that. So then um, in the prayer book, if you'll open to page 174 in Lev Shalem, uh, anyone who has the big Sim Shalom, it's 410. Does anyone have any other book and need to find uh, it? Yeah, I have another book. So just tell me the name of the prayer while yes. when it comes in the service. So this is um, the lifting and tying of the Torah. Okay. So it's... Um, okay. The, I have next a Hazi Kaddish. So there's going to be a Hatsi Kaddish uh, right before it. Okay. And then the next should be the Zot HaTorah. The, the Sefer Torah is raised. Mm -hmm. Tell me if, if and when you find it. What page is it in your book? Because I think I have the same, same Shalom you do, Rachel. I, that would be 410. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, so after the Torah is read, the Baruch Atadonai. Yeah. And then after the, the prayer for the half Torah. Okay. And after the Misha Beirach. Okay. Yes, I see that. Keep, keep going. Keep going. Okay. okay. And then um, there's going to be blessings for there's several Misha Beira so the, the six Gaha paragraphs calls up those who are lifting and wrapping the Torah that's it right there okay so that starts with Misha Beira oh well so then go go the paragraph below that and then you should see Vizot HaTorah oh I do I see okay all right everybody's got it so um so there is a Hatsi Kaddish before this, um, depending on how many Torahs you have out, um, you know, you're going to maybe do this twice or three times, once for each Torah that you have out. Um, I wasn't going to go over the Hatsi Kaddish because we did the Kaddishes in my beginner class, and I'm assuming you all are familiar with Kaddishes, yes? Yes. Everyone is, yeah, okay, so I wasn't going to do that, but so let's talk a little bit about Hagba. Hagba is the honor given to the person lifting the Torah. Um, my synagogue just did a class in how to do this. There's a rather specific way to do this. Um, you need to, you lift it, you need to lift it rather steadily and evenly so that both handles are really the same place. So you're not, you know, pulling on the, the parchment or the paper of the Torah itself, right? You need to keep it very even and steady. And you're supposed to show a minimum of three columns of the Torah to the congregation. Um, there's a little bit written, at least in the Lev Shalem book about this. And I believe there's stuff in the Enkel Oheno book, particularly in you know good detail about this, um, um, why you do it. And you know the notion is that you, you want to show the congregation what you just read. So you really want to be sure what you're showing them is what you read. Um, Mary Ellen can attest to this. There are those in the congregation who like to try and hold it really wide, which is a very precarious thing to do and makes everyone gasp. <laughs> and then you have more to roll back up exactly and snug it tight and make it that it's where it's supposed to be for the next reading, which can slow them down, you know, come Monday if you've rolled it kind of funky. Um, at any rate, um, the other interesting thing that I have only learned about recently, but it is talked about <clears throat> a little bit in Lev Shalem, and I'm trying to remember where else I read it, the notion of members of the congregation 
holding up a pinky while the Torah is being held up or others holding up their tzitzit. So the pinky has to do with pointing, but instead of using your pointer finger, you use your pinky finger. I don't honestly understand it thoroughly. Um, I, I Googled it and there's all kinds of different explanations, quite honestly. So I guess it's come about from different thoughts, different places, different people. Um, but it's, uh, Mary Ellen, help me out here. It, I mean, is it just a way to say, I, I respect that. I, I'm, I don't even know what, to, what words to use, what it's supposed to show. I, I truly don't know. I don't know if it's saying that we were all there at Sinai when the commandments were given, the Torah, we believe in it. The men wrap their teeth seat around their finger, not just hold it, they wrap it. Yeah. And those that don't wear teeth seat, raise it. Um, I Where think it's a, it's a minhag, depending on your Yeah, for sure. Sardic, you know, Ashkenazi. Right. It's, it's different. It's, uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you for helping me out. But um, it wasn't something that I ever witnessed growing up. It's only something that I've noticed as an adult much more recently. Um, huh. So just saying that for you. Okay. But so let's go ahead. And so there's the Hagba and the Galila. The Galila is the one who ties it. The Hagba is the one who raises it. And um, okay. So let's jump right in. Um, Everyone see um, where this one sentence is in her book? Yes, everyone's with us? Good, okay. Barbara, will you read for us? Vizot HaTorah Asher Sam Moshe Lifnei Bnei Yisrael Al Pi Adonai Biyad Moshe. Perfect, thank you. So um, the congregation chants this together. We recite it together as the Torah is lifted. In my congregation, we do it this way. Vizot HaTorah Asher Sam Moshe Lifnei B'nei Yisrael Al Pi Adonai Biyad Moshe. And that's the whole thing. It's very simple. Um, and that's all there is to it. Now I did see at the bottom of the page here, in Lev Shalem, I did not have any notion of this until I read it preparing for this class, that, um, so this is a combination of a, a verse in Deuteronomy and a verse in Numbers, underscoring that our entire Torah came from Moses as dictated by God. This theological claim is not made in the Bible itself. Since this passage conflate, conflates two biblical verses, the 20th century Orthodox Jewish thinker, Joseph Soloveitchik, for instance, did not recite it. I find that very, very interesting. And I so appreciate these kinds of notes in this Sidor. So, and then it goes on to say about raising of the tzitzit, you know, affirm their own fulfillment of the Torah. So there's what they say, that somehow by raising yours su suggests that you have affirmed your, you know, and, I guess I'm just not that literal. Okay, moving right along. So um, now we need to return the Torah to the Ark. So um, in Sidor Lev Shalem, page 184, in Sim Shalom, it's going to be 426. And Lenore, so you're looking for the safer Torah is placed in the Ark or returned to the Ark. So you should just Flip some pages and you'll find it. Okay, I would, it's eight. Hi, yes, I, it's Chaim He. That's exactly what you're looking for. Good. Okay, eight. You want me to read? Well, hold on one. Let's make sure everyone's got it. Karen, I don't, can't recall which book you have, but you have it too? Yes. Okay, good. Sure, Lenore, why don't you um, read for us? Eight. Hi, Yim He Lama Hazi. Kim Ba the Tom Ha He Ha E Shar. Do that last word again. That last word starts with a mem, and the mem has just a, a short U. Ma Usha. Perfect. There you go. So eight Chaim He. 
למחזיקים בה בתום חכה מרישה. Count down from that. One, two, three, four. The fifth line below oh. that. Eighth Chaim. The arrow. With the arrow is? It's the line below the arrow, actually. Okay. Okay, thank you. Right. Some synagogues um, <coughs> may start at the arrow, but but oh. not all do. So, but all do Eitz Chaim He. So that's where I thought we'd start with Eitz Chaim He. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so we did the first line, Eitz Chaim He, okay. Um, the second line, um, Karen, will you read? Sure. Tira Keha, Tira Ke Noam. Slow down. So the first word, the third letter, does not have a dot in it. So it's not a hard, like a K, it's more of a guttural H, right? H. It's a, it's a half, not a cough. Okay. Uh, ha. Ha. Okay. Should I start again? Yes, please. Perfect. Darche no am. Vichol natifo teha. Shalom. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, the last line, Linda, will you read? I'm sorry, I don't have any of the books that you have, so I'm looking for it. Okay, all right. Um, I'll, we'll come back. Is that we'll okay? Back. Eileen, will you read? Ashi Beno Adenoi Elech Al Yecha. You were right the first time. Elecha. Elecha. Vanish. That under the nun is a little T, ah. so it's A. Ah. Banash, 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 Shuva. Yes. Had, Hadesh. Yeah. Hadesh. Yes. Vami, 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 so ya me nu. Oh ya me nu. I made it above above. Yeah. Ya me nu. Kukadem dem? Kukadem. Kukedem. So um the second letter is a kuf. Right. So kukedem. Kukedem. Like the wine. <laughs> so ignore the line under the kuf. No, no, it's like the wine. Kedem. Oh, kedem. Yes, it's like the wine. Kedem, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the, question? Yes. Could could you just read that word that starts with uh, vana, the fourth from the end? Yes, I'm going to read the whole thing, okay? Okay. Okay, this line is hashivenu adonai elecha v'nashuva Chadesh Yamenu Kukedem. So what I want to know is, um, is that Shin doing a double duty with the Shva? And no. Okay, I'll explain. Okay. okay. So the fourth word, Vina Shuva. Everyone see it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, each letter has its own vowel. The Vet, I'm sorry, the Vav, has a shva, the nun has a kamatz, the shin, so while well, the shin in my book, let's, I'm gonna quickly look, yeah, in, in both books, the shin has a line hanging down under it, but that's a pronunciation mark, not a vowel. Oh, so, oh it looks like two dots. It looks no, like it's just dots. a straight line. It's it actually like just- a, It looks like a dot on mine, it's a dot. Well, dots. under the shin, Yes. Under the shin, it's just a straight line. 
And, but mm -hmm. then just to the left of this shin is a, a sharuk, a vav with a dot in its middle. Now I got it. I thought we had a, a shuva and right. a, I thought we had a double vowel there. Yeah, no. Okay, na shuva. Okay, okay so, so I'll read the whole thing. Eitz chayim hi lamachazikim ba v'tom hecha meushar. Darachecha darche noam v'chol nativoteha shalom. Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Vinashuva Chadesh Yamenu Kekedem. Now I know there's lots of different ways to chant this. Um, a, let's see, Eitzchayimhi. That's how I always did it. completely sharp on something or other but yes and that was nice and slow and that was very well done there's another version would you like to hear a more yes okay so i'm going to share my screen <laughs> okay that gave me that answer quick and simple okay this is a lovely version that is i think a children's choir everyone can see this yes yeah. okay good um, you don't really, there's not much to see, but I'm going to play it. It's you know, current uh, melody, which is nice. Um, and I like that it was children um, and it wasn't too fast and it didn't have flourishes. <laughs> so all good. All right. So now we're going to move on to the Musaf Amidah for Shabbat. So Linda, find that in your book and Lenore also Musaf Amidah for Shabbat. So Lev Shalem, page 185. And Sim Shalom, page one. So we're skipping another Chatsi Kaddish. You know, there's constantly a Kaddish between the parts of the service, just to let you know. So page 430 in the Sidor Sim Shalom. Okay. So there's a lot written about Musaf Amidah. Ain Kelohenu has a lot of good information, the textbook. Also, right here in um, our Lev Shalem book, there's all kinds of information. But um, basically, 
Um, the Musaf Amidah for Shabbat is slightly different than the other Musaf because it has an additional Shema that we recite during part of the Kedusha. Okay. And, uh, you know, so, you know, there's um, Kedusha in the um, Amidah on other days of the week, obviously, but in the one on Shabbat, we add an additional recitation of the Shema. So just to give you a sense, and you can kind of see this, they explain it in the Lev Shalom, they don't really have as much English in the Sim Shalom, but so the first paragraph of the Musaf Amidah, um, it starts out with, you know, Baruch Atah Adonai, so the Brachot, this, this is um, for the patriarchs, now we've got patriarchs and matriarchs, some people used to call it our ancestors. Um, so it's often referred to as the Avot Ve'imachot paragraph. It's the first paragraph. Then you'll turn the page um, and you'll get to the second paragraph when we're ready. Um, this one is Gavurot, it's called. Um, so in the first paragraph, we are addressing God being the heirs of the patriarchs and matriarchs that we're naming, right? And um, so we have confidence that um, he blessed our ancestors and he's going to continue to bless us. In the next paragraph, the second paragraph, it's a little different. So this is really showing our human vulnerability and dependence on God and calling on him for his assistance. And then finally, we'll get to the Kedusha, which is considered the third paragraph. And this one, I think, is the most beautiful, frankly. It's focused on God's holiness. Um, we recite it standing, and when only there is a minion present. And it's composed of two prophetic visions, um, which are woven together. So um, we'll talk about this for just a minute. Um, if you turn your pages to get you to the Kedusha, so usually it's just the next page or two pages, if y'all can see. Um, so here, this is some, these are prophetic visions. One is Isaiah and the other is Ezekiel. So apparently that Isaiah witnessed angels singing, kadosh, 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 holy, holy, holy. Ezekiel on the other, heard, on the other hand, heard angels cry, praised is God's glory wherever he dwells. Um, um, Malo kol ha'aretz kavodo. Um, so the idea is that there's a chorus of angels singing and another chorus of angels responding. One is in the heavens, one is on the earth. And so that the congregation ultimately is imitating these two visions. The leader and the congregation, one is proclaiming one thing and we're responding as the other set of angels. Um, so I find that a very beautiful concept. And so the idea is that the prayer brings heaven and earth together into unity. The angels respond to each other in agreement, both acknowledging God's presence and proclaiming Israel's devotion or credo to one God. That's the notion behind the Kedusha. So we'll get to that, but I didn't want to forget to explain it. So um, let's start by reading at the beginning um, the... So, Here's my challenge, ladies, and, and I'm going to need you to bear with me because not everyone has the same book. In the Lev Shalem book, we have patriarchs and matriarchs. And when you have it with also the matriarchs included, you have a lot of additional words added. But some of you have Sim Shalom and some of you have a book. I'm not even sure what that book is. I'm guessing certainly in my Sim Shalom, there's no matriarchs mentioned, right? Um, and Lenore... The book yes, you have? Uh, mine includes the matriarchs. It does include the matriarchs. Oh, okay. yes. And yes. Geraldine, what book are you showing me? Unmute. I've been so confused because I've been working with Sim Shalom. Yeah. And, That's and fine. Matriarch. Your Sim Shalom has matriarchs? Yes. Yeah. Mine doesn't. What page are you on, Geraldine? I'm on page 156B. Oh, okay. So you're on a newer version, I think. Because my we're in four at four thirty. My right. older. Yeah, version. I don't have any of these four hundred and five. Yeah, I'm so, so confused. 
Yeah, because there's another, um, I have an older version of Sim Shalom. You have like the newest, last version of Sim Shalom before it was um, kind of put put aside when Lev Shalem came out. But okay. Um, okay. My dilemma is, do I, do we do the newest? So, so hold it, hold it your hand if you have no matriarchs, if you only have the old version. Oh, okay. So we're kind of, all right. So we're going to do the old version. Um, those of you who, let's see, in Lev Shalem, it's easy to do the old version because you're just looking at the paragraph on the right. It's got two columns, one with and without. So just look at the one without, okay? The shorter, the shorter one. Yes, yes. Gerilyn, in your book, are the matriarchs, well, so you don't have a version without, you just have a version with? Uh, which she has which a matriarch? Book. I'm sorry, say in the a, the a is The A page is without matriarchs. The B page, I think, is with the matriarchs, I Correct. think. Correct, okay, okay. Yeah, that's, okay. that's what it appears. Okay, so let's do, okay, let's do the A page, okay? And I can, uh, there's a recording I'm going to send you that has both the matriarchs and the patriarchs. So for those of you who want to learn it that way, I, I'm going to share that YouTube with you. It's a beautiful YouTube. Um, but today we're going to read without the matriarchs. Okay. So everyone has that in front of them, right? Okay. Excellent. Um, Arlene, will you unmute and start for us? Okay. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Velohe Avotenu Elohe Avraham Elohe Yitzhak Velohe Yaakov. Beautiful. Stop right there. Stop, stop right there. Okay. okay. So the only thing I will say you read beautifully, the, the last word you read, Yaakov. Sometimes that second ah gets a little swallowed into the first one, but that was perfect. Thank you. Um, sure. Connie, will you pick Great. up? Will you pick up from there? Yeah, let me see. Ha okay. Hagadol. Mm -hmm. ha yeah, if, okay, you left out one word, ha'el. The word ha'el is right before that. Oh. At the end of the line, okay. Yes, yeah, that's where I thought we stop. Okay. Okay. Ha'el, Hagidol, Hagadol, Hagadol, Hagibor, Vaha No Ra. Mm -hmm. El, Yil, Yon. So there's the last word is El Yon, El Yon. El Yon. El, El Yon. Perfect. Go. Go mal. Ale. Uh, go male. So under the mem. Go male, right. Go male. Go male. Hasadim. Mm hmm. Go hem. What, what, I'm not sure. Hasadim. Oh, tovim. Oh, right. See, oh. Tov, tovim. It's an interesting twist. Yes, that. I don't know what word you were reading. <laughs> <laughs> tovim. To, I, to, tovim. Tovim. Stop right there. So let's, that was beautiful. Step right there. Okay. 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 So Audrey, will you pick up from there? Vekone Hako Vezo Vezo Care. Hair. So there's no Vezo Care. There you go. Um Has Has Day. Mm-hmm. A vote. A vote. Uh, a vote. Oat. Um, um, ume, ume v. Mm -hmm. Go ale, leave, nay, bene hem, bene hem. Perfect. Lama ad on shimo, shimo ba ha be ba. Ba. Okay. Shmo ba ha ba. Perfect. Thank you. You've come a long way. You really did nicely. Really, really well. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm just going to read it 
as one solid paragraph for you all. Everybody read beautifully, but I'll just read it back to you. Slow. Read it slow, please. I will do my best to read it slow. <laughs> Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu ve'elohei avoteinu, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei ve Elohei Yaakov, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor, Vahanora, El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim, Tovim, Vekone Hakol, Zocher Haste, Avot, Umevi Goel, Lifne Vene Hem, Lemaan Shemo, Beahava. Okay? Excellent. All right. And the chanting of this, interestingly, I thought was uniform, universal. Well, I was wrong because when I looked for some video, you know, uh, uh, versions I could send to you, um, video links, I got all kinds of things with musical accompaniments and so forth. And I was like, I don't know what, where this is coming from, but I, of course, did find some that I will send you. And I'm assuming that, and it's the traditional, Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei Avoteinu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Ha'el Hagadol, Hagibor Vahanorah, El Ayon, Gomel Hasadim Tovim, Kone HaKol, Mizocher Hasteavu, who may be go well if never they have the manchamo. Right? It's it's simple. It's lyrical. No music accompaniment needed. At any rate, okay. Um, before we go to the next paragraph on Shabbat Shuvah, which is the Shabbat between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, there is a sentence added. Zachreinu l'chaim melech hafetz b'chaim v'katvenu b'sefer chachaim l'ma'an ha Elohim chachaim. Okay, so but it's one. At Tim Shalom has two more lines after that. Melech. Oh, that's the start of the thing again. Right. That. Yeah. That's the next. That's the next thing. That's that's the next thing that we do do. So oh, okay. okay, okay, that's uh, still part of the traditional. Do, do it every Shabbat. Okay, Audrey, it's oh, the indented it. part that we yeah, don't. Yeah, now I get it. Yeah. Okay, you good? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so now we are on the next sentence. It starts with Melech, and um, let's see. Uh, Jane, will you read? Mela O Der Umo Shia. Umo. Okay, so Umo. it's Umo Shia. Umo Shia Uma uh, Gain. <laughs> Baru Ata Adonai Magan. Hey, there's a two dots under that. My gimbal. gain, my gain, Avraham. Very nice, good. So, and what what's in Lev Shalem here is that little symbol to bow over, right? Um, before that word Baruch Ata Adonai. So, although that signal was there also at the first paragraph, I just, you know, I don't even. It doesn't sink in with me. It's just anyway. But you all know that. So we we do a small bow. For the first paragraph, Baruch and I, and we do it again um, on this second paragraph right here that Jane just read for us, right? Barbara. Um, can you tell me what the third word is? I, I, I'm getting, I'm right, getting so Melech, because I'm uh, down so, to my... Okay, so I'll go back 
where where Jane started, Melech Ozer, is that where you're looking? Yeah. Okay, Melech Ozer Umoshia Umagain. You see that? Then oh, okay. Even with the magnifying glass, it looked like there were two dots under there, which didn't make any sense. Yeah, so, the shin, yeah. the shin has that line again as a pronunciation mark. Mm -hmm. So the emphasis being on the shin, umoshia umagain. That's what that line is. Okay. Okay. And I believe that's okay. in in both books. It's yeah. pretty pretty standard. Um, well, I didn't have yes. a chance to enlarge this page, so I'm working with the magnifying glass. And it's okay, not. I understand completely. Um, okay, so now the next paragraph that starts ata, this is what's called the Gavu wrote paragraph, um, and this um, is just a continuation. So, um, Edith, will you read? Okay, we're at uh, Ata. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Ata Gibor Leolam Vayed. Mm -mm, there's no Vayed there. Uh, uh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Let me start again. Ata Gibor Leolam. This is Adonai. Adonai. Exactly, Adonai, you're right. It's so confusing when that happens. I know. I know, yeah. I know the memory is- No, you're fine. Kicking in. You go another Me, three words? Uh, Meha, yay. Mm -hmm. Me team, ata. Yeah, why don't you finish it? Do two more words, you're doing beautifully. Now that looks like, is that two dots or just one mark? Rob? It's one line. It's one line. Okay, so it's Rob. Yes. La Hoshia. Hoshia, yes, La Hoshia. Exactly. Yeah. Very nice. So this this sentence is Ata Gibor Le Olam Adonai. Mechaye Me Team Ata. Rav Lehoshia. Okay. Everybody's good? Yep. Okay. And then we're going to continue down. So now there's um, a sentence that's put in here, right? The sentence we add from Sheminiat Seret until Pesach, um, where we're praying for rain in Israel, which is why the sentence is added. The sentence is Mashiv Haruach Morid. Hagashem. So the wind to blow and the rain to fall is what they're asking for. Okay. All right. And then we're going to pick up with the next word, Michal Kale. Let's see. Who, um, I'm not sure who's read and who hasn't. I apologize. Geraldine, I don't think you've read. Would you read for us? No, you don't want to read? <laughs> you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. I'll skip you. That's fine. Um, Linda, will you read? Sure. Um, Mekal Kale Hayim Bechesed, yes, Bechesed Mehaye Metim Rachamim Rabim, so Meach Neflin. Perfect. Why don't you stop right there? Really nice. You've been practicing. Yeah. It shows. It shows a lot. Um, Mary Ellen, will you pick up? Uh, after no flim, no flim. Okay, the ro, the ro fe, the ro, the ro fe. Yeah, holim, u, uma, tir, asurim. Mm-hmm. Um, kaim. Game. There's two dots um, under the yud. Oh yes, um kayim el monato. So let's look at the eh monato. Exactly, exactly. So this the olive has a lot going on under it, but it's basically just eh. Lishane afar. 
Perfect. Beautiful. Really nice. Um, I'm just, so let's, is it, we'll keep going. All right. Um, Connie, will you keep, keep us going? Me, Kamoha. So just be careful with the uh, half, right? There's no dot in it. So it's it's just it's not a k, it's a ch. That's all. Me, yep. Me, chamocha. Yes. Be, be all. So under the bet is a line. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Ba all gibbo wrote. Now, but next, the the vowel for the vet is a sharuk, so a dot in the middle is a yeah. oo. So give who wrote. Oh, I see. All right. Give who wrote. Umi do me lach. Mm hmm. Me melech me me. Melech me meet. Um ha ya. Umats umats me ha. Oh, now this is the tricky one. Mats me ah. So that, that final yeah. chet with the line under it gets inverted and yeah. it's ah, right? Oh yeah, from long ago I sort of remember That's that. right, that's yeah. right. Umats mecha. Mi ah. Mi ah. Umats mi ah. Umats mi ah. Yeshua. Yes, very nice. You got the tricky one. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna read, yes, Audrey. So, okay, so that was what was confusing me. So back at the beginning, um, where you go me and then you go kamo kamocha, mm -hmm. I, I would have gone kamoach. Um, different you know, letter, right. So let's, so the dip, there's a very yeah. different, there's a huge dif difference between a final chaf, right? A chaf so feet versus a... Um, yeah. Uh, right, a, a hat that just happens to have an ah under it that happens to come at the end of the word. Okay, so you you do the ah only with a hat, not with a uh... correct. Okay, correct. So the um, a chaf sofit is just with whatever vowels attached to it, usually a cha, right? Whereas with the chet as the last letter with a uh, a vowel under it, it becomes ah, it gets inverted. Okay? Yeah. It's a Thanks. one time, right, uh, unusual combination that that's just how we do it. And okay. One, one more question with um, Pesach, is it Pes? I mean, I, I don't have it in Hebrew. So, what is the first vowel uh, for the. For in spelling the word Pesach? Yeah. Oh gosh, how do I is spell it? A, Pesach? Is it a pe or a pe? It's a, so it's a pay, okay. but what is the vowel that goes, you know, when I write Pesach. Oh, I don't care what the vowel is as long as oh, I it's just a pay. It's just okay. a pay, a samach. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. I do care what the vowel is. <laughs> I thought you were pronouncing it. Um, well, so I'm going to guess that it has a segol. It has three dots. Uh -huh. Okay. That's what I want to say. And then a samach. That's all I need is the head with a, right. yeah. Thank okay. you so much. Right. I, I often write the word Pesach in Hebrew and like on my calendar or on things because it's shorter than writing Passover. I just, I know what it means. And I just write a Pesach. I just write the letters. I don't write any vowels. I know what it means. So, all right, ladies. Good so question. I think Audrey's bringing up an interesting point about that word because that's one where I think a lot of accents have come in because I say Pesach all the time rather than Pesach. Right. Correct. That's why I asked. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And and the Hebrew word is Posach. Well, that's the verb, Posach, to pass over. Um, but this, the letters, the root of that, the Pesachet, and that's how we get the holiday Pesach. Marjorie? I have a question further up. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, please. In the first line, the last word, Adonai, 
why are they writing it that way instead of the way we usually do it with the yuds and the hesses? And right. And this question came up, Audrey asked it a couple of weeks ago, and I said I would try and find an answer, and I don't know the answer. Okay. Um, I apologize that I yeah. just, I, I it's didn't. It's just odd because it's. Right. <laughs> what first or second time we've seen it spelled right and, and yet it's translated the same way correct so, correct correct and my curiosity is was it because this prayer was written down so early but i don't know i i can't imagine this prayer was written down before all the rest of the prayers but maybe it was i don't really know but the it's last, well, the last one I thought, was it in the same context is it always in this context yes okay I think so. Well, uh, th not exactly. Uh, the last prayer we had, I tell you, well, I don't know. Um, I can't remember exactly what prayer it was in. I can't either. So, but anyway, okay. So um, I'm just gonna read this back to you all before we go on. Well then, do you wanna hear it chanted? Do you wanna chant it together? Or do you wanna move on to the Kedusha? Those are three questions I didn't give you a chance to answer any, I apologize. Geraldine's <laughs> <laughs> pointing one. You want me to read it back and then you wanna chant it. Is that what you're telling me? Yes, yeah. okay. I got that, very good, okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start at the beginning of this second, so um, I'll start with uh, Melech, Ozer, is that all right? Melech Oser Umoshia Umagain. And then we bow Baruch Ata Adonai Magain Avraham. Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai Mechaye Me Tim Ata Rav Lehoshia. Between Shmini Atzer and Pesach, Mashiv Haruach Umorid Hagashem. Mach kel, <clears throat> excuse me, Mechal kel chayim bechesed, Mechaye metim rachamim rabim. So mech no flim virofe cholim umatir asurim, um kayim emunato lishene afar. Mi Chamocha Baal Givurot Umi Dome Lach Melech Memit Umchaye Umatzmiach Yeshua. Did we go past this or not? Did we, no, we stop there? As we, that's that's as far as we got. Okay. So <clears throat> Um, so here we have another sentence on, on Shabbat Shuva. We say this, Mi chamocha av harachamim zocher yitzurav lechaim harachamim. Okay, that one Shabbat, we say that one line. And then we continue. <clears throat> so um, Karen, will you read this continuation? Fene <laughs> emar excuse me. Vene eman ata licho lich licha chayot me team. Good. Barot ata. Oh, Baroch ata azanoi. Hame team, hame. No. Ha Michaye, Michaye, hame team. Very good. There you go. I like that you corrected yourself. Very nice. <laughs> and that's how you learn. You learn best by correcting yourself. Okay. So vene eman ata la ha chayot me tim baruch ata adonai me chaye ha me tim. Excellent. All right. So now you want to hear it chanted. <clears throat> um, we could do it ourselves. Let's see. So okay. So melech ozer umoshia umagin. Baruch Adonai, Magen Avraham. Atagi bor leolam Adonai, 
מחיימת היא, עתה רב לחושייה. מחכה, get to the Kedusha. And I know we only have five minutes, but we're going to keep going. Um, as I say, I find this prayer just to be so beautiful. Um, and it's, it's like my favorite thing. So um, let's just start reading. Um, okay, your box has moved on me. I have no idea why. So <laughs> I, I've called on you three times this class. I apologize. It's just, I just go around the boxes and when they move, I, I have to end up repeating myself. Okay, um, Barbara, I'm going to let you finish your sip and I'm going to ask you to start. <laughs> that I right? didn't get to the sip, but I'm going to decline because okay. I am stuck. It, the words jump around between the magnifying glass and my poor little book. So. Fair enough. Don't worry about it. I'm skipping you. Okay. Lenore? I recommend, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. You recommend. Oh, I was going to tell you who to pick next. And then oh. <laughs> oh, well, that's not fair. That's cheating. Okay. Lenore? Anaritza. Slow down. So you left off the last. Anaritza. There it is. Anaritza. Yes. So. Okay, now this now this has the dot on the left, so it's a sin, not a shin. It has one dot under it. Uh, oh, oh, C. Mm -hmm. ah. That's it. Beautiful. Uh, sar. Fay. Yes, sar fay. Kodesh. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a under, under the mem is a straight line, so it's an ah. Uh, ah, ma, ma, kadishim. Yes, so in this case, the uh, kuf actually goes with the mem, so it's hamak dishim. Uh, ha oh, hamak dishim. Yes, let's stop right there. Very good. I'll read this back. Na'aritz ha. Benak dish ha, kisod si ach, sarfe kodesh, hamak dishim. Okay. Um, the next line, um, Linda, will you read? Um, uh, uh, ka, um, ka, ka, two. You're a line uh, above that, a line above oh, where it's simcha. Uh, na, a, ri, a, riach. So, all right, so your, your, your book doesn't have lines in the same place as our book does. Okay. Um, so we just read, You see where I am? Sarfei Kodesh Hamakdishim. Can you pick up with the next oh, word? Oh, okay. The, the, um, okay. No, um, uh, simcha. It's a, it's a shin because the dot is on the right. So shimcha. Oh, shimcha. Okay. Shimcha. Um, but the Kodesh Ka Ka Tuv Al Yad 
uh, no viach, that's v. That's v. 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 And oh, there we go. It really <laughs> no, it told us it's the top of the hour. Oh, I like that. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to read this line, okay? <laughs> Shimcha bakodesh kakatuv al yad nivi echa vikara ze el ze vi amar. Okay. Maybe Rachel, this- Rachel, this- could I just interrupt for one second? Absolutely. If you don't mind? Because I know we're close to the end. Marjorie has something she wanted to say. Oh, yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Well, thank you. <laughs> That's very sweet. I appreciate it very much. Rachel, maybe you'll teach us that in Hebrew. Oh, well, that's easy. No, it's easy. Happy birthday to you. That's the phrase. I'm getting the book from here. Can you do it in, can you write it out for us maybe so that I can read it? And send like, it know, to next, you? Yeah. Yes, or, to I can do that. Let me yeah. write a note. And if you're present. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Mary Ellen and Marjorie. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys are so kind sweet. of planned this. Just a little yes. bit. <laughs> and I, I had a I, feeling I, Mary Ellen would not let this go by. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, she must confess that Mary Ellen did spill the beans. I'm not surprised. <laughs> but I tell you know us what? that it was your birthday. I am. I am a person who likes to celebrate my birthday. I am not ashamed to say that. So thank you. You all share your much. birthday with George Harrison. I do indeed. He's Ooh. 17 years my senior. He, should be. he would have been 79 today. That's oh, right. Oh, oh wow! Wow. That's right. wow. Now, yeah. not not to not to throw shade on the celebration of your birth because we do appreciate that you were born okay um but i just uh, this is noah galinkin's york site oh is it yeah. yes oh. so his son told me okay yeah i think his son was just here in um, the chicago area at mariah congregation i think he our, was. yeah that's yeah. our neighboring son. yeah yeah yes. david david. Very right. cool. david was there very yeah. cool but, um, well yeah we are appreciating his book his book is full of useful, interesting information. Oh. So, all right, ladies. So in my usual style, I'm going to send you a bunch of links yeah. for <laughs> chanting. And Behrman House, Behrman House has all of these paragraphs read for you. So you can do it word by word. I will send those links as well, OK? I was lost. Um, I can't think of anything else. Um, you have a lovely rest of your birthday. Well, yes, thank you very birthday. much. Yeah. I have one more class to teach in a few hours. Mary uh, Ellen, did you tell them about today? Who? The other class? <laughs> I don't know who they are. Right, she has no way of place. doing that. <laughs> no, she doesn't have their information. I know. I, I, what I time didn't. is your other class? Uh, my other <laughs> class is at 1.30 Eastern, 12.30 Central. Maybe we I'm need to, to do that two class. classes a day. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Barbara has a question. Barbara does have a question. So um, I, I, we'll work on the Kedusha, but where will we go after that so I can enlarge the page? Okay. Oh, okay. So after the Kedusha, that's a fine question. Um, you know, we're, we're moving a little faster than maybe I thought, because according to my original curriculum, I wrote in Passover interlude. Yeah, th- we're Zooming. We're Zooming. I think it might be a little early to go into a Passover interlude, quite honestly. Um, 
So, um, if you could have us repeat the Hatsi Kaddish or something like that. Well, Ashray. I would like to go to Ashray. Who did Edith? Oh, who said okay. Ashray? Yes, I would like to go to Ashray. Added, Edith knows that I have a thing about Ashray. <laughs> but that would be fine. It's very useful. So. Well, I can't let you guys get through a class on, you know, the services without learning a prayer that we constantly say that a lot of people find very, very challenging. So um, I think what we'll spend a little bit of time on Ashray before we start our Passover interlude, as I like to call it. Does that make sense? Yeah. That works. Good. Okay. And one more. If we were in Israel doing um, conservative service, would they have vowels? Under the letters. I've never been to I don't know what the prayer book looks like. Mary Ellen, have you, Barbara, anyone been there? I have, but I, I don't remember. I have, but I don't, yeah. I, I think they have transliteration, and that's what I went for, you know, so I didn't really take a look. Uh, I, 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 I will tell you, I went to Habad service in Puerto Rico two weeks ago. Bardic, wow. Bardic Habad service. Wow. We were, done, we were done in two hours and 15 minutes. Um, now, I was totally lost, but I didn't feel bad because the girl who sat next to me is in the process of converting, and she had the Spanish sea door, whereas I had the English sea door. So I was attempting to help her without interfering, but then the guy who was helping her convert kept coming over and showing her, and I said, I'm sorry, I'm having enough trouble with this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's a good story. <laughs> it was good. All right. Barbara, go ahead. My question is totally different. Back to the idea of writing Adonai one way or the other. Is Adonai ever written in the Torah and how is it written there? Because I wonder if maybe they started using the abbreviations to use up less ink and space. <laughs> you know, I'm going to ask Rabbi Ellen Wollens Fields why mm -hmm. it is the way it is. Okay. That would be great. Thank you. I know yeah. she's in, she's in Israel, but I know she'll she'll get back to me, you know, before next week, I imagine. So there, there, they have been. I can say because I've been corresponding by email with them. Both Debbie and Rabbi have been responsive. Yeah, while they've yeah. been there. Yeah, I expect so. So good. All right, great questions. Thank you. Um, thank That's you for, for the wishes. Have it's a great day. Yeah.